With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is three equal masses of one kg each are placed at the vertices of an equilateral triangle of side one meter. Then the gravitation force on one of the masses due to other masses is approximately. So here we can say suppose these are let's say here three masses placed at three corners of an equilateral triangle here each mass magnitude is given as 1 kg here so we can find the force due to other masses on here one mass that is at this mass at the topmost mass here this is an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle of side 1 meter means here this angle will be 60 degree now since gravitation force is given by the formula f is equal to g m1 m2 divided by we have here as r square and it is an attractive force so here this force will be of the magnitude we can say here that that is let's say f as here g into m1 and m2 both are same and divided by r square now m1 and m2 both are given here as 1 kg and distance between them as 1 meter so 1 into 1 and divided by 1 hence this comes as g so the magnitude of this force is g in similar manner we can say here this force between let's say this m and this m will also be our f which here is equal to magnitude given as g now the resultant of these two forces by the parallelogram law of vector addition of equal magnitude and at an angle 60 degree to each other we can say here comes along the bisector of these two angles that is we can say here this is our 30 degree and this here is also 30 degree this is our resultant force so the resultant force here can be written by the parallelogram law of vector addition as root under we can say as f square plus we have here as f square plus 2 into f into f into cos of angle between them here is 60 degree so this comes as f square taking out common from the square root this comes as f so this is 1 plus 1 into here this is 2 cos 60 cos 60 is 1 by 2 as this comes out to be root under 3 f so this is root 3 f magnitude we have calculated as g where g here as we know is given as let's say 6.67 into we can say as 10 power minus 11 so we can say this on multiplication comes as 11.5 into 10 power minus 11 newton hence amongst the four option we have here option number 3 11.5 into 10 power minus 11 newton is the resultant force acting on the topmost mass along let's say here downward direction of magnitude 11.5 into 10 power minus 11 newton hence option 3 is the correct answer so 3 is our answer for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.